Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling it Forgiveness is Vital. <clears throat> As Christians, we must forgive all, even those who persecute us and call us names. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if they are even from fellow Christians. In all my years of ministry, <coughs> been a few years on uh, YouTube, uh, I've been called everything under the sun, mostly even by fellow Christians, unfortunately who disagree with my teachings. Sometimes it's not easy as I um, work full time and most times return home at after 9.45 at night. And then also I've got three children to look after and provide for. But I try my best um, as I love Father God and our Lord Jesus Christ and my brothers and sisters and my future brothers and sisters that's why I try my best, with God's help, uh, to get people to be saved. Um, so that's why God helps me to understand scripture, to try to show others the truth by providing simple scriptures and teachings so uh, people can understand the scriptures. Because um, there's a lot of confusion out there. Lots of uh, pastors and preachers out there that are teaching things that are not according to the scriptures. Hence, that's why I dig into the scriptures with God's help and try and provide simple scriptures and understanding of the truth. So in this, in this video, I want to say how vital it is to forgive. As if you don't forgive others your sins, of their sins, God will not forgive you of your sins. Here is a list of some scriptures for that. Luke 6, 27. But I say to you who are listening, I say love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. Ephesians 4, 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Mark eleven twenty five. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, Forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. See how vital it is. God won't forgive you of your sins unless you forgive others of their sins. Matthew 6, 14-15 <clears throat> For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Imagine how important that is. If you die before you forgive others their sins um you can imagine when that can end up you can end up in hell for that for that for that simple thing and luke 6 36 37 do not judge and you will not be judged do not condemn and you will not be condemned forgive and you will be forgiven um i think i, I might have mentioned this before but uh before my mum died uh, she didn't speak to her brother for about 20 years. They fell out for 20 years. So um, I met a colleague at work that happened to go to um, my a hairdresser that happened to be my brother-in-law. And he was telling me about this hairdresser. I said, that's my brother-in-law. Um, I said... Uh, about uh, saying discussing about my mum hasn't spoken to him for 20 years they fell out and they haven't spoken like 20 years can you imagine not forgiving someone for 20 years and see god works in mysterious ways he used this uh, colleague of mine to bring um, my mum and her brother together again so what happened is he said let's get, get all together and meet up so we we i managed to arrange for me and my um, my mum and my brother, his, her brother to meet up <clears throat> and they forgave each other and they met each other for a little while and funny enough not long after my mum died <clears throat> so it just proved there that God um, works in, in, in serious ways and brought them together before she died if she did she died before she forget you know she uh, forgave her you know she might end up in hell but because she forgave, and she was a believer in Christ, by the way, and, and she, that was the only thing I believe that was a stumbling block. So God used 
um, my colleague to get my mum and her brother together and they forgave each other. They met up for a little while and unfortunately, not long after that, my mum died. Um, unfortunately, uh, due to, let's just say, not normal circumstances, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, unfortunately she was, um, thieves came in at night <clears throat> and she, um, what do you call it, uh, she was here alone on, in, in her bed and they scared her so much they gave her um, a problem with her heart and the doctor said she had a few months to live. But that just shows that, see, God knew the time where she was going to go and so she unfortunately passed away uh, a few months later after the incident but before that she did uh, reconcile with her brother so that's how god works um now she's um uh, waiting the resurrection i uh, hope uh, for heaven because she was a believer in christ and uh, god's given me uh, dreams in the past about her being in heaven anyway i'll leave it there i won't rattle on too much uh, i'll leave it there so anyone out there who hasn't forgiven others, please do, as you don't want to be uh, something happen and you didn't forgive someone of their sins. Uh, because not forgiving others could end up leading you to hell and you don't want to do that. So if you have a grudge against anyone, please forgive them, okay? Anyway, I'll leave it there. So anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.